Welcome to the Black Armory. Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my guide on how to beat the Valindra Forge. This is a strategy that I've come up with over the week, over the last couple of days, and it's I think it's pretty foolproof. Uh, I took two friends of mine in. One of them had never beat the Forge, and one of them had only beat it once. Uh, God's Passion and Dimitri, thank you very much for helping out with this video. Uh, and we done it. So a second attempt. Once they got a grip in the first attempt, once they got a grip of the strategy, it was... It was a cakewalk after that. Now, power levels, we were... I was 616, uh, Dimitri was 616, I think God's Passion was 620. You don't need to be those power levels to do this. We had 30 seconds left in the boss fight. And two of, two of, two of the guys, the two guys had machine guns on. Dimitri had Thunderlord, God's Passion had Hammerhead. I used Whisper. If you switched up one of those machine guns, preferably the hammerhead and kept it on the Thunderlord for another whisper. And we did you would you would be laughing, you'd do even more damage. And having a warlock would help. Uh, this is how you get the exotic quest by the way. Drop down into this cave, pick this up, you get a mysterious box and during the run, in between waves one and two, you will see me shoot two drones. If you go in my position and shoot the drones in the positions I'm shooting them in, they'll always be in the same position you get the fish, hot, fish hook lock, which appears as a little lock in your pursuits menu where I am now. There's a lot of different secrets in here that, as as of recording this, I'm, I don't think anybody's found out or, you know, if they're available to us just yet, but there's a few of these things, Crest not available. There's a few of them around the map. There's also a board you can interact with, but I'm sure that Bungie will find a way of, you know, getting this out to us, how to do this, or someone will find it. But, like I was saying about the strategy, you don't need a Warlock. I'm just saying it would, if a lot of the runs I've seen have relied on Warlocks. This didn't. We've done it without a Warlock with guys that haven't beat this tons of time, times. A Warlock would help. But if you're going to run Warlock, don't run Well of Radiance for the whole run. I would suggest doing Stormcaller until you've popped your super in the second round, which is the most difficult part of the Forge. Run Stormcaller, clear a heap of adds, then change, because you'll have your super back by the end. Now, this is the strategy, guys. Waves 1 and 2 are going to be done in this in these caves. Now, the way this kind of works is, people. I think a lot of people focus too much on throwing orbs. You get one second for picking an orb up, and one second for throwing it. The time accrued is from killing yellow wells, these guys. You get four seconds for a scion. You get I th it's four, four or six uh, we'll, uh, it'll show in the video it's 4 or 6 seconds from a centurion but the butcher guys and the colossus it's 9 seconds for killing those so they are the ones you need to kill so the first round I would suggest don't throw your super don't use your super at all again like I said I'm Stormcaller the two guys that I was in with both went hammer titan Roman supers you know I would, I would suggest you know Probably, if if you if you're proficient with it or comfortable with it, I would probably suggest uh, for a titan anyway. I would suggest going uh, defender with Doomfang pauldrons and the double shield, because that super will just last forever. I mean, it's it's like it's it you know it has the potential to last as long as as my arc strider. And you save your super for the start of the second round. First round piece of cake as you can see we're just killing enemies staying in the same position killing enemies throwing the orbs building up time no problem so as i say the guys were still coming to grips with the strategy in the first round although we done it pretty easily the the reason why we never had more time because the first time we done this we had about 60 seconds left at the end we had 58 seconds i believe left at the end of the first round and that is simply just kill ads. That is kill ads and throw orbs. But focus. Do not let those those uh, ultras. Don't let them uh, stay up too long because that's eating into your time. The orb thing. Yeah, you do need to throw twenty orbs, but you can you can let a heap of orbs collect and then throw them. You know, build your time up. That's what it's about. I'm sure you guys know it, but I'm, 
I'm just wondering how many people actually know that that's what it is, that it's the, the yellow bars. If, as you can see, I have no pride, <coughs> because I've put that in the video. I actually did press my throw button before. Anyway, it's no problem to die, because you're only down for a couple of seconds. It's only a problem, as I'm pretty sure you're aware of, if you keep dying. So as you can see, we've only got one left to throw, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, I'm not, it's no problem. Kill him. Throw. Not going to bother popping supers or anything. No need to. Not in the first round. And there we go. Easy peasy. Second round. Now we're going to chain our supers. So as you can see, one of our guys went away. And that was kind of... It kind of puts you in trouble if someone runs you know runs out of the strategy but it's all good we still got it done so as you can see there that's the weather to the position of the two drones that is that that gets you the fish lock the fish hook lock <laughs> you'd think that'd be dead simple for me to say uh that gets you the fish lock hook my god i've done it again the fish hook lock uh so one of the guys already popped his super and there goes the second super. So I'm going to wait until he's popped his super and he's ran out of super. And then I'll pop mine. And I will try to get, as you can see, we've got 35 seconds. I will try to get as many yellow bars as possible. So we've got 35 seconds. We've got 29 seconds when I pop my super. We're already up to 35. You know, and I'm just going to go around killing as many ads. There's a Colossus coming. He's going to go. That takes us up to 40. Take another one of the Centurion. You know, it's that's basically what it's about. Kill those kill those those uh yellows and get yourself the time. You know? And through all that time I've been talking, right there from when I popped my super, we've basically lost no time. Because of the enemies that we were killing. We're keeping myself around about that 40 odd second mark. There is a another there is another Colossus. So we'll get a melee. Melt him. We're back up now to 50 seconds. And I actually missed that because I got I was getting shot. Honestly, I'm not that bad a throw. And and that is what you do for the second wave. Now as you can see from the from the you know, picking up the orbs and all the rest of it. Uh, Passion got his super back. And he's dropped orbs. I could go and pick those up and probably get my super back. So I'm going up here to see what, what's lying about. Trying not to die. I noticed I was being... <laughs> I noticed. Nonchalantly noticed that I was dying. I was getting hit by a Colossus. Nine seconds of time. So he now becomes my... My... Uh, my prey... I know I'm going to die here, so I wanted him dead. And as you can see, I gave my team the, the, the nine seconds. I'm back up, no big issue. I can go, I can kill these ads, and by the time I kill these ads, we'll almost be ready for the boss. Plenty of time. Uh, if you notice that your orbs are bouncing, by the way, something I meant to say, try make, making sure that you hit the fa the, the sides of the, the, the forge that are on fire, and they won't bounce. If you're hitting the ridges, sometimes they will bounce. This is where we're going to fight the boss. So you come in here. I'm going to go around. I'm going to uh, aggro him to get him to come around. And then what the guys are going to do, now as I've said, you could do this at a lot lower power level if you had someone else using a whisper, one person using a machine gun, and even having a warlock to put, put down that well of radiance. But we never had any of that. We we had two machine guns and one whisper, and still done it with 30, just about thirty seconds left. So stick to this right hand side. Now, if you stick to the right hand side, as you can see, those guys they're focusing them and they're actually flinching them. But what's going to happen? As you can see, I'm being, I'm not being sniped. I'm being focused by a sniper. So. I tried to see where he was. I couldn't see him. Just take down that ad. Get back in here. It doesn't even matter, guys, if you don't have the, the catalyst for the sniper. 
because as you can see, I could have got two shots off there waiting for the, the catalyst, waiting for the, the catalyst to proc. So it doesn't really matter. So I said to the guys, which is what you should do, guys with the machine guns, I'm, I'm now focusing them, take out the ads. The other thing as well, if you've got a heavy machine gunner, those rockets that he fires, you can actually shoot those. A machine gun will take those out. And one of my guys went to get heavy. One of the, one of the team went to get heavy, as you can see. And unfortunately, the boss clocked him. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it didn't work out to be too bad, actually. And there you go. It's, it's a very simple strategy. So, first wave. The first wave in the cave. Second wave in the cave, but with supers. Second wave is with supers. Make sure you're taking down the yellow bars. Third wave is down on the left. The left hand side is you're coming in. So the two waves on the right, one wave on the left. Uh, the chest you just see me shooting at is the chest you get if you've done if you if you've got the the hidden box, uh, the secret box, and you've shot the two drones, and that gets you your fish hook lock. Yay! Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will post a GoFanon guide guide once I've done it. I hope this helps you guys. Leave me a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.